as I say, it does have some suggestions um, around how we can apply empathic listening. Um, and it is empathic listening, it's about really listening. One of the one of the cues, I'll read them out. I think there's some really good, good things in here. So some of the applications we can do it to go, right, one, select a relationship in which you sense the emotional bank count is in the red. So when we say in the red, we just mean that you haven't got a great relationship with them, right? Maybe you've you've not come across personally. This is try to understand and write down the situation from the other person's point of view. Now we did this. Remember that we did the with Ryan. Do you remember we did the the the, the NLP round three, Robin? Put yourself in someone else's shoes yes, and then put your fly on the wall. Yes. So again, you know, Stephen is using some NLP here to try and see it from another point of view. So um, situation. So let's say write it down. Write down situation from the other person's point of view. In your next interaction, listen for understanding, comparing what you are hearing with what you wrote down. How valid your presumption? How valid were your assumptions? Did you really understand that individual's perspective? I think that's really powerful. If you write down what you think, but then you compare it to what what it is, I think that's a really powerful concept. Number two, share the concept of empathy with someone close to you. Tell him or tell them uh, you want to work on really listening to others and ask for feedback in a week. How did you do? How did it make you for that person feel? It's a quite nice suggestion. Number three, the next time you have an opportunity to watch people communicate, over, cover your ears for a few minutes and just watch what emotions are being communicated that may not have come across in words alone. I really like that, that you will just close your ears and then Looking for the body language, watch. yeah. Yeah, I think you'd be quite quite powerful and next time you you catch yourself inappropriate using one of the an autobiographical response means basically trying to solve their problem like probing evaluating advising or interpreting try to turn the situation into deposit by acknowledging acknowledgement and apology i.e like what you said lee about just being there um for them right um well, you said a word what was the word you said you said something um, validate validate i think yes. Yeah, you're just sitting there you don't want to see validating the point of view. you're listening you, you don't want to enforce it anything yeah. You just want to listen to them, right? I think it becomes, it's almost self-validation by just getting to tell someone about it. And then it says, base your next presentation on empathy, describe the other point of view as well as, well as or better than its proponents, then seek to have your point understood from their frame of reference. So there are some actual action points from that particular chapter. Um, so I definitely, I mean, it's always a work in progress and we do make mistakes. And so I think there's some really powerful tools you can use. <laughs>